Hey y'all. I'm out here with Azzy, uh, my uh, alpha kind of corso. Lucia, you're gonna get in trouble, girl. Ooh, Lucia. Lucia is the one I have to hold, kind of corso puppy, very, very playful puppy. And little Gypsy. Gypsy's a pit bull puppy over there dig digging up rocks. Ooh, we got some rain last night and, uh, hey, Papa. So it's actually really nice uh, temperature out here. Nice weather in the Texas Hill Country. And uh, it's about whew, it's about 8 p.m. Just getting home from work. Hey, Papa. Man, y'all. Best part of the day is, is uh, coming home to my pack. So, but uh, anyways, y'all, what's going on with the YouTube land? Hey, Papa. Look how wide his neck is. Good Lord. Ozzy's neck is probably as big as my torso. Could be even bigger than my torso. Let me see. Ozzy. Crazy, right? Man, these dogs really are a sight to behold. If you have never seen one in person. What is it, darling? I can see his nose working. Lucia's got her big stick over there. Lucia! Let me see. Look at this stick. Look at this stick. I want to get it. Oh, I want to get it. <laughs> Look at this huge. Ooh, I'm going to get it. Give me this one. I'm gonna get it. Lucci. <laughs> Look at that oh, big old branch. She actually pulled that branch off the tree. And then look at Gypsy's rock. Come here, let me see. Let me see, Gypsy. Come here, let me see. Goodness, y'all. Look at the size of this rock. Good lord. She uh, she tries to dig up the heaviest rock that she can. You can see it's covered in dirt because it was pretty deep in the ground. Although I think she had a little bit of an advantage because the ground is wet from the rain. Lucia. Good night. Let me see. How big is this rock? Whoa. Man, that rock, y'all, it's probably about 20 pounds. Oh. Gypsy, you got that rock girl? Oh, Gypsy girl. She's a very careful. She picks it up very gingerly. <laughs> Good lord, y'all. Lucia got it. Lucia got it. Lucia. Lucia got it. Let me see. Let me see. See if she'll play a game of tug with me. Lucia! <laughs> so funny how she runs with it held high. With her, with her chin held high. There's Ozzy! Ozzy! Hi, Papa! There's Ozzy! Whew. A long day, y'all. Gypsy got that rock. Oh, Gypsy got that rock. Gypsy got it. Gypsy got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I tell you what, these dogs will keep you entertained, man. They will keep you entertained. Oh my goodness. Well, the mosquitoes are starting to pick up out here. I don't know if any of y'all got mosquitoes where you live. But, yeah, I don't know if you could see them. They're actually flying around right now. Thank goodness I got the, the dogs on the flea and uh, heartworm preventative. Because these mosquitoes, a lot of them, you know, carry the um, heartworm larvae. I want to show you how big he is compared to to me. Like if I'm really close to him, you can see how huge he is. It's almost like a horse, you know, like a mini horse here. 
And um, of course, not all Connie Corso are this big. He's actually exceptionally big, still within the breed standard, but you know, he's 155 pounds, which is pretty large, and um, and it's lean. He's not overweight. Um, I could still see from his physique the uh, the lean uh, the leanness around the lower end of his rib cage. He's still got that tuck up they call it. What's that eyes? Where's it, Lucia? He's looking at Lucia, and Lucia's focused on something. Oh, by the way, y'all, I'm expecting a grocery delivery, so you may see their reaction to the driver. But yeah, this video, sorry, is kind of just rambling. I'm just um, kind of exhausted from the work day. I got up early today. So I just wanted to really check in with everybody, just to say hi. And uh, let you see what's going on with the pack. So, hi, Papa. Um, yeah, sometimes I, I just... Oh, shoot. It's okay, baby. It's a kind of Sorry about that. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're just protective. You can play. Hey, hey, hey. Let me, let me get you. Hey, hey, hey. Lucia. Ozzy, sit down. Sit down. gonna be breeding her. Ah. So and then that's a pit bull. Oh well, well, uh, I have a friend who's a dog groomer, so she might have some clients who are yeah. interested. Okay. Uh, can I get your contact info? Yeah, actually, I have a YouTube uh, YouTube channel. Oh, right? you do. Let me, let me see. Yeah, and then you can find me on there, and you can um, they can comment on there. Um, it's called. Your channel is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, his name is Ozzy. Ozzy. Okay. Yeah, so the channel is Ozzy the Kenny Corso. And then I'm getting, a, I'm importing a, a black coat male to breed with her. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah my friend, she has poodles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has poodles. Yeah. Do y'all have any? I'm a cat person. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have cats. I love, I love them. Um, is it okay if I, I'm going to, I'm filming right now, but I don't think I have your face. No, 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 is it okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll say that kind of, oh, there it is, right there. But yeah. Sorry for interrupting. No, you're the <laughs> guy. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, shh. Hey, shh. He, he's telling her to back off. <laughs> he's the he's the alpha male, if you could tell. Yes. See, Papa, it's okay. Say hi, oh, Papa. Well, we'll let you get to it. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for um. It actually helps because it's good for their socialization, and um. So yeah, I like it when people try, you know, to come up to them. I take them to like Home Depot to, to make sure they're out in public, they're friendly. Socializing. Yeah, yeah. because right now they're just guarding their property. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of but if like uh, if I take them, if you met him in Home Depot, he'd be totally friendly with you. Yeah, no, no, no. that so, makes sense. Yeah, now, I'm definitely that person that whenever I see a dog, I'm like, can I pet that dog? Yeah, that's <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm yeah. such an animal lover. Yeah. I'm yeah. Animal. Oh. I want to pet it. Yeah. It could be too. a chicken, a goat, a cat, <laughs> right. a I'm cool. See, oh, good boy, Azzy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, now he's okay. He sees I'm, um, you know, he sees me talking with you, so he's good now. Yeah. And this little one? That's Gypsy. She's a uh, pit bull. She's she's a pure pit bull puppy. She's a she was actually oh, like a love she flow. She's actually a rescue, but I did a, a DNA test on her. And yeah. I said she's 100% pit bull. Wow. But she's super cute. Yes. Thank you. Bye, Ozzy. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, this is a great brindle. But I don't know if you've seen the breed in the black coat. It's gorgeous. It looks like a, almost like a um, 
Black Panther I've, to me. I've mm. never seen these dogs before. Oh, he knew he, it was a mastiff of yeah, some sort. Yeah. That's all he knew. Yeah. Yo, I, I'm obsessed, if you can't tell already, I'm obsessed with the breed because they're really good protectors yeah. and they're really, they're not too high energy like other protective breeds like German Shepherd. Yeah. So for the most part, they're pretty mellow. That's good. Good boy, Azzy. They're good. Hi, babies. So, yeah, so thank you. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you too, thank you, you too. <laughs> bye bye. Azzy, come on. Come on, Az. Come on, Az. Let's go see. Come on. Come on, Az. Good boy! Okay, Papa. Good boy. Okay, Papa. Good boy, Ice. Good boy, you can have him. Yes. Good boy, Ice. Okay, y'all. So that was very interesting. So. Hi, Papa. Yeah, so they, um,. You know, Ozzy was not letting up, even though I was like trying to call him off of barking. He still stood his ground. So, mm, probably not the best thing. I really, I really needed him to immediately back down. Um, so the thing is that he let, it was interesting I'm saying, because he let those people pet him, even though he was still putting on this front for them, like, hey, I'm gonna let you pet me because I hear, because he hears me speaking friendly to them. But he kind of was like, I'm still gonna keep my guard up against you. Um, which in a way is a good thing, which tells me it's, he's a, he's a true working breed because, uh, true to the breed is what I mean, is because, um, Good girl, Lucia. She was very protective as well. Um, because uh, the, the utility of a kind of corso, they're not necessarily like attack dogs. They're very good at, and mostly what they're bred for is catch and hold, or just kind of like, um, what's the word? They, they kind of keep the uh, intruder at bay. They put this front up toward them. Now, now if, so, hypothetically in that scenario if say if say if that guy grabbed me around my neck and started choking me you best believe ozzy would reach through and and, and you know grab his leg who'd start attacking him i, I believe that 100 percent. he's like i would oh crap i would i didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> no but um you know, I and also I th this was also very interesting f for me to see because Lucia, like I said, she's becoming more and more protective, and you could see how protective she was being. I think she even was barking, which she didn't really do very much, especially when Dolce was here. She would kind of take a back seat, but now she's stepping up because Dolce is out of the picture, which is really what I wanted. I wanted to help her gain some more confidence. So that's been working really nicely. Good girl, Lucia. But yeah, so good and bad. Um, most mostly good. Um, even though he didn't stop barking right away when I called him off, he was letting the guy. Uh, he was letting the guy uh, pet him, and he was letting the girl pet him. And so, and so, um, it, and and kudos to them. That's why I thank them because. Um, she was actually being very patient and she trusted me as she trusted that I know my dogs aren't going to reach out and bite them. So yeah, very brave people, um, true, true dog lovers. And also she asked, of course, um, which was wise. <laughs> A lot of people don't ask. They'll just reach their hand and, and pet. Hi, Papa. So very interesting, um, encounter there. We can learn a lot from that. I, I learned a lot from that. Um, like I was telling her, I like it when my dogs can interact with people. And it's different, like I was telling her, it would have been different if they weren't if on, on the property. So the dog is going to act differently. Protective dog breed is going to act differently when a stranger approaches their property than they would out in public, for the most part. You know, every dog's different, but, you know, in general. So, out in public now...
if I saw those people, like I was telling her, Ozzy would not be barking at them. I mean, he would still put on a protective front, um, but he was kind of barking a lot because he wanted to make it very clear to them that, hey, even though I'm going to let you, you pet me right now, um, I still don't trust you. Um, which is good. I don't want my dog to trust anybody um, necessarily completely. I, that's actually why I chose this breed. Um, because even someone, you know, that you that you know, like I was saying, my, my brother, my younger brother, Albert, he did a couple of videos to help me do these videos where he pretended like he was the intruder. And he, uh, I think he had put like a, a mask on and, you know, busted in through the door and just to see how the dogs would react and they reacted like I thought they would similar to how they reacted to the guy there um, you know they confronted him jumped up toward him but didn't attack him but the, what I'm trying to say here is even though they know this is my brother say if my brother was on some you know God forbid something happened and he blacked out and he started attacking me or you know, domestic violence, even if it was like, a, you know, say a different family where there was domestic violence in the family, the dog knows both, both parties, but one of them starts attacking the other. Even though the dog knows both of those people, he's going to protect the one that's being attacked. Uh, most, most likely, so. Lucia, you got a girl. There was a good girl. There was a good girl. What's wrong, baby girl? She's got something. Let me see, baby. Sweet girl, honey. Sweet girl. Hmm. Let me see. She's got something in her. She's just got. She's got something bothering her. She keeps swallowing something. Where's that sweet girl? Yes, yeah, you got him, girl. You got him, girl. See what I mean? See, she's kind of like swallowing something. She might have inhaled something on accident. Lucia. Lucia. But dang, did you see how she jumped on that fence? Super protective that came out of her. She has never jumped this fence. And I don't think that she will either. People, you know, animals, deer have come up to this fence line and she, she kind of puts her paws, but she never jumps. Did she? But, um, I, uh, I know I might get some negative comments for this, but I, I am very confident, um, that my dog is not gonna inappropriately hurt somebody. Like I said, they're mostly all bark until they, until they shouldn't be, until, until it's, appropriate for them to be more than bark again if 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 i was in a dire situation and i was being attacked they would be more than all bark they would be really protecting me but and so that's another beauty of the kind of course so i think other dog breeds um are potentially <clears throat> more reactive yeah she's got something in her nasopharynx maybe N their nasopharyngeal area yeah. looks like or some, maybe something caught in the back of her throat. So, um, all of those reasons are why I really love this breed. Let me see, sweet girl. Let me see, let me see. Oh, she might have got some of this dirt up in her throat. Oh, she's a sweet girl. Hmm. Lucia. Uh, so, yeah the beauty of a kind of corso is extremely protective y'all yeah it can go bad though if you don't have a really good understanding with your kind of corso you know they could potentially become un unnecessarily aggressive but like i said he's he has been socialized a lot mostly as a puppy but i gotta continue to do it uh but very rarely do people come out to to the house here um you know more than you know just delivery people it's very rare that someone comes to my house that that it's that's um hi papa that's accepted as far as you know other than my family members 
Albert, my mom, my dad. My sister doesn't really come here very much either. Um, even though she lives in Austin, she's she's very busy. Um, but yeah, my sister's my ride or die. She's one of my, my best friends. So we we still do see each other a lot. It's just, you know, she doesn't really come here a lot. But anyway, uh, other than that, yeah, other than family, I don't have anybody other than, you know, pet sitters, but uh, hardly ever coming to my house. So as far as that kind of socialization, you know, that's part of why they're so protective as well. Hi, baby boy. That oh, man, y'all, isn't he a beast? I just love him. He is a beast. Look at that chest. Look at that delt, that deltoid. It's ripped. It's just ripped. Well, man. Like I say, his his neck is as big as my torso. My whole torso. Lucia. I'm really proud of Lucia. Really, really pr pr proud of her coming into her mature uh, state where she's very protective. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to go get those groceries in. Thank you for watching. Comment down below. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day, good evening, wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Good boy, Papa. Good boy. Mm -hmm.